It's one of the largest and most popular exhibits in recent DIA history. Inside, marvelous paintings by Degas. Also inside, a number of statues. They are the center of the controversy. Are the statues by Degas, or are they second-rate copies? Welcome to the Detroit Institute of Art, the premier museum in Michigan. Pay your money at the door, step inside, and see world-class original works of art. Or is it? One expert says the DIA is currently showcasing second-rate copies, not originals. The uh, bronzes on display are actually not by Degas. They're actually uh, three-generation reproduction fakes. Gary Arsenault is an artist, gallery owner, and art author. He says the DIA is charging you 18 bucks just to look at copies of copies of original artwork. Bronze reproduction fake of a bronze reproduction fake of a plaster or wax reproduction of a reconstructed wax. He says a world-class museum promoting more than a dozen bronze sculptures the artist's hands never physically touched is outrageous. Dead people don't make art, and they certainly don't make sculpture. The controversy? The Edgar Degas exhibit currently running at the DIA. You've seen the TV commercials. And the huge billboards along major freeways touting the exhibit. The premier piece of artwork in most of the advertising? This sculpture called The Little Dancer, aged 14. But Degas was already dead when this bronze sculpture was cast. Degas never worked in bronze, he never wanted his work reproduced in bronze, and he never, never signed his wax models. And take a look at this. Degas' signature on a bronze statue on display right now at the DIA. If authentic, Degas would have had to sign it years after his death in 1917. Gary Arsenault isn't alone in his thinking. The Association of Museum Directors looks to the College of Art for standards and ethics. In the 1970s, the college stated that a copy of a copy, unless authorized by the artist, is to be considered counterfeit. So what's going on at the DIA? The defenders started digging and found Degas' heirs found a number of wax figures in the artist's studio after he died. They had the wax figures turned into bronzes. Due to the process, the bronze statues came out smaller than the wax originals. The heirs then ordered 22 bronze copies of that original bronze. It's a collection of these copies of copies the DIA is charging you $18 to see. We've always known that um, he had nothing to do with the casting, and we've always known that uh, some sculptors who've worked with him, we think one of them was a man called Bartolome, sort of did a little bit, bit of putting them back together again because he'd had them in his studio for decades. They, they were covered with dust, they'd fallen apart. Graham W.J. Beale is the director for the Degas showing at the DIA. He doesn't deny that Degas was dead when the statues were cast into bronze or that Degas never signed the sculptures. Clearly it's not his signature. Well, it's, it's a stamp taken from his signature, just as I have some of my letters stamped. Beale says the art world accepts these statues as valuable representations of Degas' original wax sculptures. Nancy Locke, an art professor at Wayne State University, agrees. He was envisioning them as forms, and I, I think we have to, I, I think we do think of them as Degas sculptures. They have that look of his intelligence. Beale says the DIA can't get the original wax sculptures or the original bronze sculptures and insists the fact these are casts of casts is not something the DIA is hiding or keeping secret. We now think that these are casts from casts um, and we explain how Degas used them um, and that these are the best representations that we can get. This large sign inside the exhibit does explain the history of the bronze sculptures. Well, that's the only way they get to find out the true history of the world. Is, is by coming in. Mean, people can come in and make up their own minds. But Gary Arsenault expects more out of the Detroit Institute of Art. He believes the advertising should show Degas original paintings, or at least have footnotes under sculpture saying, these are cast in the likeness of Degas wax originals. People shouldn't pay their money and find out. They should find out before they pay their money. The Degas exhibit next travels to Philadelphia. The paintings and the statues are expected to be on display. If that's the case, Gary Arsenault says he'll tell the people of Philadelphia what he's learned about the statues as soon as possible so they can make their own decisions on whether or not to attend. Kevin Deeds, Local First.